Hey Faranad, quick question. You've worked a few land rigs, right? Yeah, I have. What's up, Gabrielle? I was reviewing our well control procedures, and I realized some of the new crew might not fully understand the difference between the diverter system and the blowout preventer. How would you explain it to them? Good point. I usually start by saying, both are well control barriers, but they serve very different purposes at different phases of drilling. Exactly, diverters are mainly for shallow gas, right? Correct. The diverter is installed during the top hole section, before we set surface casing. If we encounter shallow gas or unexpected flow, we can divert it safely away from the rig floor using diverter lines. But it can't actually seal the well, can it? No, it can't hold pressure like a bomb. Its job is just to redirect flow away from the rig while we evacuate or decide what action to take. And once we set the surface casing, that's when the box stack comes in. Exactly. The blowout preventer is our high pressure well control device. It can close around drill pipe, across open hole, or even shear the pipe to completely shut in the well. And blowout preventer can handle serious pressures, up to 10,000 or even 15,000 psi, depending on the operation. Yep, yeah, while a diverter is low pressure rated, maybe up to 500 psi, just enough to handle shallow gas safely without pressure containment. I like how you explain it, divert for shallow gas, blowout preventer for pressure control. Clear and simple. That's the idea. Safety is about clear understanding. I'd rather the crew ask now than get confused on the job. Agreed. Let's add this to our next pre-job safety meeting. Done deal.